Hey guys, and welcome back now for part four of this mini series called Design and Build a Chat Application with Socket.io. So in the previous video, we started to go through and kind of lay out our content on the screen and started to style it as well. And that video went a little longer than expected, so I decided to cut that one short and go ahead and finish out the styling of our application in this second part here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna finish out styling this form and then all the stuff to display messages and then the, the small form to send a message as well. So really what we're up to now is, uh, let's see here, let's come down to our code and there's a, a few things, uh, let's see, that we can start to do with our form. So let's come down and we will create a form section. So we'll call this just form elements in general. And these are going to be uh, basically the same same uh, stylings for both forms, our chat form and our login form. So for uh, input, we're going to do a height of 40 pixels, padding of 10, then a background color of our light blue. All right, that'll be a little bit different. Border will be, oh wow, that's not border. Let me go back there. Border will be uh, none, don't want a border. And then uh, color for the text is gonna be far, and then we'll do our secondary text. All right, let's save that. We should see, hopefully, our uh, input here. That looks a little bit better, uh, so that's nice. And then we'll, uh, we'll style the button as well. So we'll uh, just come down here and say, the height of the button is gonna be the same. This is gonna help them line up with each other. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of padding. So padding of, uh, not pad, wow. I'm not uh, typing these out very well. So zero, top and bottom, and then the 15 pixels uh, left and right. Background color will be the uh, primary blue. The color of the text will be white. And then again, uh, border of none. All right, let's save that. And now we kind of get what we're expecting, and now we can style this a little bit better uh, just because of the, the spacing here. So now we'll come in uh, and do things that are specific, let's say, to uh, this login form. So login form here. Oh, actually, we've already done that. So let me come back up to our login section there. And one of the things that we want to do for the login form inside of the login section is just do a margin uh, top of 20 pixels. And that's going to give us a little bit of the space that we're looking for between the... Um, between the kind of the header, the title here of this form, and then the, the login. Uh, so one additional thing we want to do is this is not, this element here is not taking up the, the, the full width. It's just taking up kind of a little bit of width, and we really want it to take up more. So I think what we're going to do, make sure I got my notes here, is on the app container. So let's come in, and I'm just going to select this here and make the change so you guys can see it. Uh, we're going to do an align items of stretch all right guys sorry i had to pause there because i was confusing myself on why some of the stuff wasn't adding up and i'll tell you what the problem was is uh you know if we if we look in here uh a, a typical container on this size screen is going to be 600 pixels right because uh, we've got enough screen for it to meet its max width and then inside of here, if you notice, uh, the main content container is only 403 pixels and not getting all the way up to, four, to 600. And what I realized was, in here we used uh, the flex center for our app container, and that's going to um, align items, uh, line items, which is the cross axis, which for a column based uh, flex box, the, the cross axis is going to be horizontal. So a line item center here is not going to allow this whole thing to take up all of the available width. So what we want to do instead in our app container, let's come back to our HTML, our app container, um, actually, I'm sorry, the uh, main content container is we don't want to use Flex Center. All right, so that'll take, kind of take away some of the things that we've done in, in terms of getting this layout here. Um, and what we want to do is just in our CSS here on the main content, uh, where is main content? Where do we save that at? Or have we not created it yet? Maybe we haven't created it. So let's uh, let's do our main content. And uh, what we want to do is we want to align things uh, along the main axis in the center, and that's going to center things vertically. All right. So now we should should see that this is uh, centered vertically. And now we're missing one little bit, 
that I really want this to take up more space. And what we're going to do is give that a width of 100%. So let's come back over uh, here and we'll do that now, width of 100%. Save that. And now if we uh, go between here, what we're working on and the finished application, these look exactly the same. So that's actually exactly what we want, which is great. Now we can actually dive into working on uh, the message section. So what we'll do just for testing is we're gonna take away the hidden class. Let me copy this whole thing. Um, actually, let's see here. Yeah, let's copy the whole thing. And then let's take away the hidden class from the chat section and let's put it on the login section. So now we should see, ooh, we've got this really ugly chat here and now it needs some work. So uh, let's go into our CSS and let's go ahead and create just a uh, chat chat section or just chat whatever uh, we'll start giving some basic style in there to give it uh, background and a couple of other things and then we'll go in and style the, the different pieces so we're going to select select our uh, chat we'll, so our background is going to be white our uh, margin is going to be uh, 25 top and bottom and then zero left and right uh, padding is going to be 25 all the way around uh, color is going to be white and then uh, overflow uh, overflow, let's see, Y is going to be scroll, and we'll talk about why that is, no pun intended, uh, in a few minutes. So let's save that, and now let's just see if we get a little bit better, uh, better demo here of what this is. That looks a little bit better. Um, all right, so now let's come back to our HTML and just kind of look at what we got here. So inside of chat, uh, we've got our messages list, and then we've got our uh, message form here. Um, and I think there's a couple of styles that we want to apply, a couple of classes that we want to apply to those. And our message list, let's see here, message list, we want that to take up all of the space that it can. Uh, so we want to apply the flex grow one. All right, so then that should, let's see here, that should take up, if we look at it, under chat, our messages list is taking up all the available space there, and then it's kind of pushing the, um, the form down at the bottom. And notice, again, that the form here is basically already styled, except looks like I might be missing the text uh, for our button. So if we go ahead and include that, and if you saw that in a previous video, which you probably did, uh, you caught it before I did, so good job. All right, so uh, let's see, what do we have in our messages list? We've got a message left and a message right, and those things are probably all white, which is why we don't see them. So let's go ahead and start styling those, and we'll start by doing uh, just a message in general, so a general message, and we will apply a background color to that. So we'll do a background color var uh, primary blue, which is actually gonna be a left message, um, and then padding 20 pixels width, it's gonna be 80%, so you don't wanna take up the entire width. And then margin, bottom is going to be 20 pixels uh, and then uh, for the background or for the message right uh, we're really just going to override the background color so we want it to be a var of the light blue again these are the variables that we defined at the top the color is going to be the primary text so it's going to be that dark text on the lighter blue background uh, and then the margin left uh, is going to be 20%. So this way, uh, again, the, the right me right handed messages are obviously aligned to the right. So putting the margin on the on the left side will push it over to the right. Save that and take a look here. That looks a little bit better. Looks like uh, this text is not quite right on the, the right hand side. That should be um, actually a, a different piece of text. And then we got some padding on the on the chat window or the chat message here. So when someone joins the chat, we need to add some padding at the bottom too. And so let's go ahead and, and try to do those things. We can apply to any any of these um, secondary texts, uh, just someone joining the chat, we can apply the MB2, which is the margin bottom two. Now give us a little bit of margin there. So it looks pretty good. And then we've still got um, a little bit of stuff to do on the margin, or excuse me, the message right. And I think what we want to do is, uh, instead of the primary blue, I, didn't, I bet I just auto-completed the wrong one. We want that to be the primary text. So this actually looks really good. I think the only thing we have left 
Uh, well, we can do a little bit of, yeah, we've got some styling to do on these things in here. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to set up the message details as a flex box or a flex container. So let's see, message, uh, message details. It's going to have a class of flex container. Um, and that should go ahead and push those things out. Let's see here. Which one was that? That was on the message left. Or actually, and it's not flex container. It's just flex. Uh, and we want to do these on each of these. So message details here, it's gonna be uh, flex as well. And now we should see them kind of coming side by side, but not quite exactly what we want. So we'll need to add a little bit of styling there to, um, to specify what we wanna do. So we'll do message details, and then we'll say uh, margin bottom, give it a little bit of space here for five pixels. And then we want to, um, so since, since message details is a flex uh, flex container, we can apply the uh, justify content and then say space between to uh, spread those things out and put them across if we did this right, which maybe we didn't. So let's take a look here. Um, so this is the message details has a class of flex and then is not picking up the style that I just put in. So message details. Is that not the right class message? Oh, ID of message details, gotcha, not a class. Save that, and now we'll see these things are aligning themselves uh, the way we, we would expect. So a couple of other things, uh, let's come in and get our message details. We can do our message author is font weight of 800, so I'll put it as bold. The message date is actually gonna be a font weight of 100 and a font size of 14 pixels so it'll be lighter and a little bit um, a little bit smaller too and then message content just because I kind of like the way that it looks we're going to set the font weight to 100 as well so let's see here what we got so you can see this is a little bit smaller here a little bit lighter this is lighter and then the name here is in bold this is grayed out with the dot dot dots. Um, we've got our input form here looking right. And I think the last thing, uh, and I mentioned this earlier, is that this whole thing is not really taking up all of the available space that it should. So this is not taking up uh, the entire height here. We can see that our main content does have the entire height, but our chat window does not. Uh, so what we're missing here, uh, main, or excuse me, the chat section, is a flex child so we'll come in and find our chat and then we'll apply flex grow one not flex uh, and hopefully this will push everything up so i think we're missing one more uh one more class here for our chat and that's just to make it a flex column layout so that its children go ahead and push everything down so you see a message here, you see a message here. Uh, one thing I wanna look at or just mention to you guys, the reason that we used the overflow uh, is that if we had a bunch of these here, and this is inside of our chat container, if we had a bunch of these messages, uh, they would obviously uh, push everything down, right? So if we didn't have, let's come back to our CSS and let's find our overflow. And if we just take this out, uh, we should see now these are gonna scroll off the screen, which is not what, not what we want. So by setting this to scroll, uh, as it gets too big, we'll just scroll down to find the rest of the content. And in JavaScript, we'll add a little bit of uh, functionality to go ahead and automatically scroll to the bottom of the list as new messages are added, which will be uh, pretty useful. And one of the things I wanna do just to make sure that uh, this, uh, this message form here does not uh, butt up down to the very bottom is, let me come back to the HTML. Let's get rid of these extra ones that I put in here. How many did I copy in? I think that's good. Um, and I think in our form, we could add a class of MB-2 and come and take a look at it. And now uh, you got a little, little um, bottom down here, border bottom, or excuse me, margin bottom down here. All right, so I think that's gonna do it uh, for this video, the styling of our application. Everything looks right, it looks ready, it looks more or less just like this. Uh, which is what we want. So we're ready now to dive into our JavaScript in the next video and start adding functionality, which is super exciting. And then we'll get into uh, starting to dynamically uh, generate these, uh, these messages 
uh, in JavaScript, dynamically generating the HTML in JavaScript to update them as messages come in. So that's what we're going to get started on in the next video um, and working with our forms and handling that kind of stuff. So thank you guys for sticking around. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I thought it would to do this design. But again, I think it's pretty useful stuff with a lot of the Flexbox stuff that can be kind of tricky. So hopefully you saw me stumble a little bit. And those are things that you can keep an eye out uh, for going forward and the things that you work on. So I appreciate you being here. And I will see you guys in the next video.